What's up guys and welcome! Today I have a, an amazing game for you. This game was played between Frederick Samish, who is uh, who looks like a poker player here by the way, uh, and he's the one who invented, invented the Samish variation of the King's Indian defense. He's playing the great, the amazing, the handsome, who looks like a physicist here, Aaron Nimzovich. Nimzovich, he, he wrote a book called My System, which is considered, you know, it, it laid ground for modern chess theory. The book is good. I've never read it, but uh, I recommend you to read it. Uh, this game uh, is called by many the Immortal Zugzwang game. You will see why uh, very soon. Let's jump into the game. With the white pieces, uh, the guy uh, Samish opens with d4. Knight f6, c4, e6, and we have knight f3 here by Samish. Uh, this is called the anti- Nimzu Indian defense, so you you just um, uh, go away from the, uh, the famous Nimzu Indian defense. So uh, you avoid this variation because yeah, it's a, it's a strong defense. I think it's the most success, successful defense for black in chess. So you you avoid the Nimzu Indian defense. But after knight f3, you should be should be ready to face the uh, queen's gambit declined. Uh, there are many options here for black actually. There's the bogo Indian with bishop b4, check. Uh, you could after d5 play c6 the same as Slav. So th there are many options here for black. But here in this game, uh, Nimzovic chooses b6. b6. B6 is called the queen's Indian defense. It's not played as much today on the higher level after uh, after the games that were played between Stockfish and Alpha Zero. Um, Alpha Zero completely destroyed this defense, but it's still a sound defense in my opinion. Uh, I mean, we are not engines, so I think it works well on the uh, on the human level. And if you want to play a risky game and try to win it with the black pieces, this is a good option. It gives you winning chances and losing chances. So g3, uh, this is a way of countering the bishop on b7. So you also feel in to encounter the bishop on b7. This is the main variation of the queen's Indian. So bishop b7. Um, you could also play bishop h6 and attack the c4 pawn. But this is, yeah, this is also playable. Bishop b7, bishop e7, castles, castles, knight c3, and we have d5 by black. Okay, if you play a normal move here, like a, a3, I take on c5 uh, or on c4, I've won a pawn and I develop my bishop. So here, Samish plays knight e4, e5. Knight e5, now if you take, you lose your bishop. This is obvious. And also, there's a lot of pressure on the uh, central pawn and the queen could come to b3 to pressure more uh, b6, uh, d5, sorry. So, c6, c takes, c takes, and now bishop f5, bishop f4. So the bishop attacks c7 indirectly and the knight could jump to b5 and the rook could come to c1 and there will be a lot of pressure on the c on the c file and on the c7 pawn uh, square. So a6 stopping knight b5 and also preparing a very important move here. After rook c1, b5. So if you play here, let's say h6. Now this could be an option with the queen coming pressuring b7. Uh, b7. Uh, the bishop on b7 and the pawn on b6, b6. and also if you play b5 here knight c5 is an option so uh, b5 here stopping knight a4 and also gaining some space on the queen side and b4 by uh, by by black could be also an option later queen b3 now uh, black is threatening knight h4 here knight a4 to go to c5 to c5 so knight c6 attacking the central pawn now Knight e5, uh, d5 here is an option, and after let's say pawn takes, you lose. Okay, you lose, you lose your knight here. The bishop takes, rook takes, uh, but you have to calculate this. So yeah, this is this is playable for bla black and white, but here uh, Samish just prefer to take the knight, and after bishop takes. Okay, so we we just went uh, went out of uh, out of the opening and. Uh, once you're done developing your pieces in the opening, you should start building for your, for your middle game. A way to build for your middle game is to find a bone break in the center. Uh, the only bone break here for, for white is to play f3 and followed by e4. And also you could bring, bring the, the rook to e1 to support the pawn. So you have to do something in the center, but here 
this is the first the first uh, time in the game where uh, white starts going the wrong way you could say he played h3 okay not, not a bad move stopping stopping knight g5 creating a square for the king uh, queen d7 developing the uh, the queen now king h2 again a slow move now black check his position his opponent is playing slowly so he should he should start vanishing him black developed all of his pieces the opening is over he should find a plan uh, on the queen side you have you don't have much play as white i mean okay you can push b5 and a5 but then what you have nothing more e5 is not is not an option here so you cannot play in the center what else can i do here as black you play on the king's side how do i play on, on the king's side i mean do i play g5 and sack a pawn and play on the g5 no this is stupid you play knight h5 you attack the bishop okay what if the bishop moves f5 f5 now you could play f4 in the future you could play g5 g4 uh, the queen goes back to help with the defense and also samishir is preparing a nice idea you will see it very soon you remember this bishop which was dead on c8 and then it came to b7 it was still dead and then it went to c6 and it was still and it's still dead Okay, black has to has to find some way to develop it. B four. Till the knight moves, the bishop goes to B five. Now this bishop is a monster on this diagonal. Okay, you remember the the, the idea behind queen B one that queen D one that I told you about. First, white wants to play E four and attack this knight, and then do something in the center. But white cannot do e4 here immediately because bishop takes and yeah you just you just lost material here so white first plays rook g rook g1 now e4 is a threat how do you defend your knight here as black pause the video and find a plan or find yeah find something to do about this idea e4 and queen takes here nimzovic he just ignored his opponent that played bishop d6 okay but wait e4 this is a strong move no names of it just took wait what okay first of all if, if you move your knight i mean if you move here you lose a piece and uh, if you defend then i can just take take and take here with check so it seems that you have no other options but actually, f takes on uh, e4 is a brilliant move, and it's a winning move. Now, okay, you you just played e4, you, lo you lost the pawn, you have to keep on uh, with, with your idea as, as white. He took the knight, now rook takes on f2. Okay, let's let's check check the position here. Let's let's try to evaluate it. First of all, white got two pawns. Uh, black got two pawns for the for the knight. One of them is a central pawn. So. White won a central pawn and th this pawn on uh, f2 that defends the king. This bishop is has not much squares. The knight is stuck defending this bishop and it has no squares. These rook are the, the rooks are doing nothing. This king is feeling the pressure here. Th this pawn is weak. It's only this white queen that's playing. So black got uh, two pawns. One of them is central pawn and he activated his pieces and he stifled his opponent's pieces so yeah very good compensation for for the knight i would say queen g5 defending the bishop or extra defending the bishop and extra defending the uh, g3 square uh, or the g3 pawn rook a f8 all of all of your moves have to be coherent with your idea he did not attack on the king's side and then he played and then played rook c1. Oh, I want to fight over uh, the uh, c c file. No, the c file is useless here. The whole queen side is useless. Rook a f1. Bring more pieces into the attack. The king goes back to unpin his bishop, and now rook f5, attacking the king and just uh, moving all of his pieces nearer the uh, the white king. Uh, queen e3 here and now a nice move bishop d3 if you play rook here it seems like the queen has no squares but it can actually run to the queen side so now bishop d3 this is a threat so you have to stop it queen, uh, rook e2 just wins the queen
okay, Brook E1, let's defend the uh, E2 square. And here comes a brilliant move. This is one of these, one of the strongest moves in chess. Pause the video and try to find it. The winning move here for Nimzovic, which he played, is the powerful, the amazing H6. Wait, what? H6? Doesn't it just create luft for the king? No, 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 no. It's way deeper than, than this. Give me a move for white here. The knight cannot move. Okay, let's let's check the knight first. It, it, it's captured here, and it's captured here. And it cannot come here. Okay, let's move the bishop so that we can move the knight then. You lose your knight. You cannot move the bishop. Okay, who cares about the bishop? Let's move... Uh, okay, this rook cannot be moved. Let's move this rook. Remember, you lose your queen. Okay, okay. No, not this rook. Uh, let's move the bishop. Uh, let's let's this bishop is annoying. Let's trade it, man. You lose your queen. Look 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 at h6. You don't have queen g5 anymore. Um, what else? Okay okay. Let, let's play this move. King h2. Look f3. The bishop is bent. You lose your queen again. Okay, not. I don't want to move my king. Move your rook now. I don't want to see it anymore. Rook f3 again. What? But wait, 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 wait. but this is the bishop is not bent, man. I can just take it. No, it's checkmate. What can you play here? If you play a3, okay. A5 takes takes. Give me a move. Okay, b3. Just do something. Queen e8. Okay. H4, Queen G3. You have no move, says White. I'm going to take on G3 next, and you're just getting destroyed. White cannot move a single piece here. So after H6, White resigned. That's why this move is called the Immortal Zugzwang Zug game. I hope you enjoyed the game. Um, let's check some important moments here in the game. So. First of all, in the opening here, uh, b6, g3, this is this is a common thing to just oppose the fee and shattered bishop on the queen side. Uh, and then here he played a6, he prevented, he, okay, you can't just uh, have your own plans and just carry them without caring about your opponent's plans in chess. You have to, to have uh, your own plans and you have also to stop your opponent's plans. He wanted to play knight b5 followed by rook c1 and just pressuring the c file. So a6, stopping knight b5, and then b5, just killing the, the knight on c3. And then here, after the opening, you just developed all of, all of your pieces. You should look for bone breaks. White did not uh, did not use his chance and play, uh, play anything in the center. He just started playing uh, slow and weak moves like h3 and king h2. So black started attacking on the king side because this is where he has all. Uh, this is where his pieces could could come and white's pieces are a bit far from the king. And then after he planned to attack on the king side, all of his moves were coherent with his plan. So f5. Uh, first he developed his dead bishop, and then the rook came into the attack. The other rook came into the attack, and the bishop came also into the attack and. This is how you win. It's easy, right? Yeah, chess is easy. I hope you enjoyed the game. Drop me a, a like, drop me a comment, drop me a share. No, no, share, share only. And subscribe to this channel, okay? I will be posting every day, so stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.